Hello everyone, my name is Ebos Vox and welcome back to another quick Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 customization video. This one's actually going to be very, very quick simply because it's more about an update than a tutorial. And the update is actually a recent Windows 8.1 update. I just downloaded it today actually. And it changes how some of the Windows 8 Metro stuff acts. So by default, actually let me start here. We're on the start menu. And as you can see right here, it adds a search button and then a power settings button to the top right corner of the new start menu. People got a lot of people are really confused about searching on when, on the start screen when all you really have to do is type and it starts searching. So to me, that's kind of weird. But they added a search button and then they added the power button options there as well, which make it extremely extremely useful. And then as you may have just noticed. When you're on the start screen, if you mouse down here far enough, if you put your mouse down here, you suddenly get your taskbar. Now this seems to be really weird, but basically what they have done is they have acknowledged the fact that the Metro apps are nothing more than an application. It is not, you know, it is not a replacement operating system. It is still a, just an application on the desktop. And so this allows for two things. Let me get back to the desktop here. By default, it actually adds to kind of hint at you what this new stuff is. It adds a new taskbar icon for the Windows Store onto your taskbar. That's a little weird. And that's actually, I, I don't know if you could do that before, add um, Metro apps to the taskbar, but I don't think you could. But now when you launch them from the taskbar, they actually launch as a window. They are a window. You still have to adjust it to fit um, the Windows 8 Metro, you know, window management, but it is now a window that you can then switch between using your taskbar. And you can, if you go up here, you can minimize it to your taskbar. You can maximize it. You can close it from your, from the desktop. It is now, they have merged the gap essentially between Metro apps and desktop apps and then you can tell it to split right and split left and you can do all the manual adjusting as such for that but yeah they they have basically merged the gap between the desktop and the metro interactions and to me that just that I don't know to me that is the perfect move to have made for Microsoft in that it will bridge the some of the gaps for people who don't like Windows 8 now, I do not believe that this update is enabled by default. I had to manually go tell it to download. So go ahead and use your little swipe, go to settings, go to change PC settings, which is now a desktop app, and then go to update and recovery and check for updates. I had to do that, check manually, and then manually it was an optional update that was by default unchecked. So if I go to view details, it was down here. It was, it was you know, they have recommended and then they have optional. It was an optional update that was not checked by default, so make sure you go check it. It was about a 800 megabyte download, I believe, which is kind of big, but it's a pretty big change to the way Windows 8 works, and it's pretty cool. And now you can keep track of what Windows 8 apps you have running from the fucking taskbar. It's amazing. Excuse my French. But yeah, so that will work wonderfully with my next Windows 8 customization tutorial video, which will be about changing the start button. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time, let me know what you would like to learn how to do in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 in the comment section below. And I mentioned that start button thing, but that may not be something that you need, given that now the start button kind of acts more like the old start button, it's just bigger. But yeah. See you next time, Bye bye one side note that you should take note of which is actually going to make me very angry this is actually a full-on windows update it is not changing is this is the first time that windows has updated that it doesn't change the version number they're calling it windows 8.1 update one it's kind of like a service pack almost but it is a formal update it's completely changed the way explorer works it's completely changed the way <clears throat> a lot of the operating system and taskbar managing works and therefore at the moment my previous videos program 7 plus taskbar tweaker does not work with the new update this is really frustrating according to his blog which I just closed according to his blog 
Um, here it is. Windows 8.1 Update 1. He is working on porting it, but at the moment, there's not a whole lot of availability of stuff for him to update the tweaker. Like, he needs some debug code and things like that from the update, which is not yet available. So, at the moment, he cannot update it and fix it. So, if you have the new version of um, the new Windows 8.1 update that I just told you about, Taskbar Tweaker will not work. Ideally, it won't be long before it works, but at the moment, it does not work. So, just something to keep in mind. Again, thank you for watching. See you next time. And I'm going to go ahead and uninstall that because it's going to keep popping up in error every time you start your computer otherwise. Thank you for watching. See you later. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.